Hello internet, well we're back with the Tiger again, uh, sorry if you're getting bored of these but um, still chasing this leak. Um, today, having a bit of a look in the boot, um, I was kind of swaying towards is it coming in from the boot area and uh, some comments as well did suggest that it might be that because they've had similar problems. Um, oh hello. Um, the trouble is when you open the boot <laughs> you get water in so it's it's a bit deceiving um, but that pipe there <clears throat> excuse me that pipe there should be going to the exterior of the vehicle now is it going to the interior of the vehicle and flooding it could it be that well there's a question for you so I've dropped this panel off now I did notice there's um I can get you in here there is a little bit of water down there not sure if you can see that um, and I think that goes into the back of the cabin, so I don't know, is it coming from there? Well, let's have a look. I'm going to try and chase that pipe. Um, it's going to be a bugger to reroute it, to be honest, but I'm going to chase it and uh, see what I can find. So, I've literally just turned the camera off and then realised something. So, let me get you up here. Up there, can you see it? There's a drain. Okay, that drain goes down and down and down, but look where it ends up. You see it? That's ending up in the cabin. Hmm, interesting. It shouldn't be there. So, I'm not sure how much of this you're going to see, but I did notice that wasn't very good on there. It wasn't very tight, so I've put some rubber glue on there, glued it on. I also threaded it down here, and if I can get you in there, found a hole down the bottom near to where the pipe was actually laying. So I'm assuming it goes out to the outside panels rather than pouring inside the car. Could it be as simple as that? Well, it certainly isn't going to help. So I think I might be onto something here. We will test in a minute when that glue is dried. But yeah, as you can see, right in there, there was a, there was a pool of water. So I'm starting to think, yeah, maybe it's coming in from that back drain. Hmm, interesting. So, I did slightly reroute that. I'd look at the other side. Let me get a torch in here. You can't see a thing. There's me waffling and you can't see a damn thing. Flash, flash, flash. So, on the other side, it goes straight down and sort of out there. So, I have put it that way. So, what I'm going to do now is get the leak detector 5000 on the go. It's slightly raining anyway, a little bit of drizzle. But uh, yeah, my leak detector 5000 is down there ready and waiting to go. I'm going to pour some water down see where it ends up yeah let's hope um, outside the car not inside all right well I've had a good pour not a drop inside the cabin um, if it was coming from there then hmm, possible um, as you can see as well I've yeah repaired the rust so uh, yeah ground the rust off put a little bit of pour on it and then a little bit of silver spray just to go over the top so that's sorted that uh, that out that wasn't a problem but hey while well, you got the carpet up why not but um yeah i'm not seeing anything coming in anywhere there and i kind of assume it may have been coming in from that bit there if it was going in the back and finding its way through there because the, the water was sort of around here this area um i also thought that this seal might be a problem but at the moment not seeing it so have i found it well i hope so because to be honest, it was driving me crazy. Okay, another development. So I poured a lot of water on here, admittedly, but um, I think I've got a seal that may be leaking too. Um, if you look down there, there's a fair bit of water. Yeah, so it's coming in from somewhere. Um, it seems to be originating somewhere up here, just there I think. So where is it coming in from? Right, new development. Um, 
that doesn't look like it's flowing very well either there's a lot of water just there um, I mean, could I invertedly have blocked the pipe up I, I don't know <laughs> it's the answer let's, let's have a look so I'm finding another let me get you in here a bit better I'm finding another little problem yeah it's kind of missing that gully there where it drains it and it's pouring down the outside of it well I wouldn't say it's pouring but it's definitely coming down the outside of it can you see it bit of a struggle getting you in here I know but yeah it's missing that gutter or it's it's doing something to bypass that gutter hmm maybe we've got a hole in the seal or something these seals though are a pain in the backside and a right problem to get to right more digging I'll be honest, that looks like a bit of a design fault as well because that side's doing it. Hmm. I know it's supposed to go down there, and it does. But if it's raining really hard, I think the design of it dictates that it does end up in the cabin slightly. Hmm. Right, maybe I need to put my engineering skills into practice here. Well, it ain't pretty, but if it does the job, yeah. Well, it's definitely intending what I meant it to do. Hmm. Like I say, it ain't pretty, but it's doing the job. Can you see what I see? Puddle of water. Hmm. Follow it up. Follow it there. Hmm. Now is that just because I've opened the door? Or is that where it's coming in? So I think I've managed to get that bit sorted. Um, need to put the drain pipe back in. The drain pipe's actually in the bucket at the moment. Just making sure that stuff's flowing out of it. And you can see it is. Um, I've put my little <laughs> bodges in there to try and redirect the water slightly. And it seems to have worked. Um, did it on both sides. And it seems to be better. It's not perfect, but it does seem to be better. But I'm guessing when the boot's down, it may, it may be okay. Um, but yeah. Am I getting something up there? Or is it just where I've opened the door and it's dripping? Oh, it's a nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> it's a nightmare. That bug is open, I know, because I've poked it. Um, that's obviously doing its job there, but I will double check. But there does seem to be a couple of drips there. I think what I'm gonna do is shut the door and get, uh, get the missus to chuck some water over the top of it, see what happens. So, I think I might have answered my own question, to be honest. Before I put these diverters in, which seem to be doing the job relatively okay, a lot of water ended up down there. Can you see it? And I think, let me pull that bit of carpet back, trying not to get you out of focus at all. I think what's happening, it's going in at the back there, because that, to me, looks like the original problem I had. We look in there, follow it through into the cabin, and it's much the same place. So yeah, I think that's what's happening. I think it is the back that's leaking through to the front, or all through to the cabin. I think. Right, I think I'm going to test this theory now by doing something really stupid. I'm going to pour some water down there, see if it ends up in the cabin, because I'm convinced that's the problem. And as if by magic, there you go, that's what it was. Yep, so it's coming through, coming through from the back bit. Hmm, next question is, do I seal it? Because I'd rather have water in the boot, where I can drain it away, than water in the cabin. But that's definitely the problem, definitely the problem. And there you go. I've pulled back the carpet there. Makes perfect sense now. Look, there's the cabin through there. So yeah, 
I think I think I'm going to seal that up down there I know it's kind of diverting the water somewhere else but I have put my little bodges up there so it should minimise the water now but I think I'd rather have water going in the boot than going in the cabin that's what I think anyway well you can call it a bodge if you like and you probably will and probably the comments will go why I shouldn't have done that blah 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 anyway my car <laughs> so I have sprayed some liquid uh, under seal in there which should seep into all the gaps and should stop the water entering the cabin now I know it's got to go somewhere but I'm hoping that it's going to end up further back um, it's all pretty level um, and I will keep checking it just to make sure if worse comes to the worst I'll put a little 8 mil, uh, 8 mil, um, 8th drill through the uh, through the corner there give it a little drain hole but I don't think I need to I think we're doing that temporary repair so make all the bodge again and sealing it there I think that's going to solve the problem I just don't want water in the cabin um, I've done the same this side as well um, just basically put some uh, some under seal in there just to stop it seeping into the cabin that is the main uh, the main quest and uh, yeah I know it's not um, it's not probably industry standard but to be honest <laughs> if I was Vauxhall building these I think I would have put seam sealer on there anyway I would have sealed the cabin up um, yeah water in the back here doesn't um, cause as much havoc as water inside as any Tiger owner will know right um, I think I'll do for now I'm going to put it all back together uh, in here and then I'm going to start to put the interior back in and then put all the scuttle panel back on the front and uh, I'm going to call it a day because to me I found the problem and although it may not be the best solution it's a solution right let's get on with putting all this back together so there you go it's all back together again all the interior back in as it should be all the scuttle panel at the front all back in obviously all the uh, the boot put back as well so um yeah now all i'm going to do is just monitor i think we'll be okay though that's a crazy design fault and uh, i think i've nailed it right thanks for joining me for these very random water leak tigra type videos and uh, yeah if i don't talk to you before or don't see you before or don't post before have a great christmas if i do post before i'll see you in the next one bye internet for now Lots of